reason one million for having a K van. So you could put your motorcycle in it. Fits like a glove. How about that? So now we're gonna get it out. Throw it on a dyno. <laughs> Well, we gotta pump those numbers up. I at least wanted to hold power higher in the rev range here. Uh, and, and let's see, maybe we can get it closer to 10. That'd be a great goal. But either way, let's start. First things, basics. We've got a carburetor we're gonna try out on this. It's, um, it's a little bit bigger and it angles it off to the side. It's a Makuni and it'll hang over here. So we're gonna have to get rid of this little piece and uh, we'll set that up real quick. And we'll just see if that helps. That would be the, that's gonna be the first thing we try. Okay, so here's the new carburetor setup. As you can see, it's off to the side a little bit to make room to actually fit. It's a bigger carburetor uh, and idling pretty good. We'll go ahead, run this up now and see exactly if there's any gains. Fingers crossed, let's see. We'll see here, this is the first run. You can see we're peaking around 42 miles an hour. Down here, we weren't peaking until like closer to 47, almost 50 miles an hour. So that's first and foremost. But let's look at the power difference closer here. Like at, let's say 55 miles an hour. At 55 miles an hour, we were looking at, oops, not looking at anything, 55 miles an hour. You're at 7.3 horsepower now, while before at 55 miles an hour, we were at six. So over a horsepower gain, that's pretty consistent, pretty, pretty considerable on, on a little thing like this, a little bike like this. Uh, and then at red line, where we're at five horsepower, now we're sitting pretty at almost seven. So almost two horsepower gain at red line. That's big. That's gonna feel really good. It's gonna let us accelerate through the rev band a lot better. So uh, down low, 40 miles an hour or so, 7.8. Now 40 miles an hour, 7.9. So no real change at the mid range. Up top, 
gains are all almost all up top but we did peak here again at 8.4 horsepower at 46 miles an hour it's right in the meat of the power band so when we look at this at 46 miles an hour we're at 7.4 so full horsepower from 45 miles an hour all the way up that's good nice gains i can't really com complain about that so uh we'll do a little more tweaking but so far so good this thing deserves a test drive i'm sure that's gonna feel nice all right roads are a little wet but I'm gonna still try to see how this uh extra power is helping us out so let's go ahead and get up here to a nice straight section of road and we'll see just what we've got out of this little bad boy Okay, so there was 67 miles an hour. So a pretty nice gain. I think our last best was like 62 or 60, yeah, it was like 61 something. So 67, so six mile an hour gain right there just from uh, putting that other carburetor on and dialing it in on the dyno. That's pretty impressive. I'll get out here again when the weather's a little better and we can try again. But uh, I'm pretty excited about that. 66, 67 miles an hour, 66.9, 67 miles an hour. I also dialed in the, uh, the dash, so the mile an hour is almost exact. So pretty happy with that. But anyway, let's go back. Maybe we'll give it one more shot, but pretty happy with that. That's nice. All right, here's another shot. This time we got a little breeze to our back, so let's see. We're going to get a little more mile an hour here. Here we go. All right, I saw 70 on the gauge and 69.9, so 70 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour on the GPS as well, which is having a little bit of trouble, I think, with the clouds. But uh, either way, 70 on the gauge, that's pretty accurate. Like I said, we've been dialing in this, this speedometer to make it as accurate as possible. Pretty awesome. So we're
we're back and as you can see this thing is running really good now pretty happy with that 69.9 on there we hit 70 on the gauge they're pretty close to each other i'm really excited about that a little bit of wind in my back for that top speed so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pretend like that's gonna be all the time but we saw another run with barely any wind 66 miles an hour so we did see some good gains 66 67 miles an hour versus 62 before 61 62 so another five miles an hour from the carburetor pulling that extra horsepower up top that's really good just listen to how nice that thing is i believe now super quiet new carburetor is running really good all right stay tuned for more you know i got plans see you guys in the next one